Hi. Still here. I'm still alive. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Um, what did you do this summer? I'm going to tell you what I did this summer. And it wasn't fun. And I have lots of things to share with you. So let's get started. everybody doing? I hope that you've been well. I hope that you had a fun summer. I hope that maybe some of you got to go on vacation. Maybe you got to have a little bit of fun. Maybe you got to see family, friends, etc. Maybe you got to do a little something something. I didn't do any of that because my hips are not that great. You guys, I have to tell you, um, you know, I was having all these problems with my nose we resolved all of that. I had another surgery in April. Um, that really helped a lot. And then we figured out this like m magical miracle thing um, that I'm using um, that one of you actually suggested, which was like phenomenal because you suggested it. And then the next day I had a doctor's appointment and I said, hey, one of my viewers actually said, can we try this? Pull my cord. And the doctor said, it's funny you mentioned that because we were just discussing that in the other room and that's what we're going to put you on. So the, they've put me on that. I'm on that twice a day. And uh, I it just, it's, it's really been a game changer for me because I have been breathing freely since April. And thank goodness, the dear Lord um, kind of fixed that problem for me. Uh, you know, I'm still dealing with stuffiness and weird things. Doctor still doesn't know what the whole thing is. I personally think it's a, a residual weirdness that was brought on by you know what. But, um, you know, who knows? It's something I got to deal with now. Um, and now we've got to deal with the arthritis in my hips. Um, I'm just letting you guys know. It's not that I don't want to make videos for you. I so want to make videos for you. I've made two videos in the last three months. They're both advertised videos, and they were both sponsored, and they were both shorts. And um, the reason I did them was because they helped to, you know, put money in the bank account. I'm not going to lie. Um, the, uh, the, the short for the uh, water filter, um, and then the short that I recently did for Texas Pete, Thank you, Texas Pete. Um, that recipe was so much fun to make, and the video was so much fun to do. Um, that recipe was phenomenal. Rick absolutely loved it. We're actually going to make that for, um, we're going to put it like uh, in lettuce wraps or in little tacos. Delicious. Um, Rick wants me to make that sauce just to have it in the fridge. Um, to uh, What did he want to put it on? He wanted to put it on something. Well, he wanted to put it on firecracker shrimp. Um, it's just so good. Um, but anyway, if you haven't had a chance to see that video, it's just a short video and it is in my, uh, on my channel page, but you can go ahead and check that out. I can put a link to it down below if you would like, but I've got to tell you guys, this, uh, is not easy. I have spent the last 18 months losing, um, almost a hundred pounds and I have just lost it naturally. And, uh, you can see in my face that I've lost quite a bit of weight. I can tell in my clothing that I'm definitely smaller, but uh, I was not able to be scheduled for the hip replacement until I had gotten down to a certain body weight percentage in my BMI. And at my last doctor's appointment, she allowed me to be scheduled for hip surgery for my first right hip. And uh, I was I just tickled. Once I'm healed up, and that's all taken care of. Six weeks later, I will be able to get the other one replaced because I have um, bone on bone in both hips. I'm currently um, doing my best to walk around the house using two canes, but I'm bent over and I'm very slow uh, on my feet. And um, I go someplace, like if I go to the doctor's, I do ask to be put in a wheelchair. It's just really out of courtesy because nobody wants to wait for me to turtle myself down the hallway. Um, they have people that are waiting and it's just wrong for them to have to wait for me. Rick has taken up so much slack. He has taken on the role of everything. He's, 
helped me cleaning the house. He's helped me cooking the meals. He's he's done everything. So it's it's frustrating and it's difficult and it puts you in a depression and it makes you not have any motivation and it makes you not want to do anything and um, it makes me very emotional and um, it makes me not want to do anything. So I am sorry that I have not been there for you guys. I have not done a lot. Um, I have, I had so many plans for this year and I'm sorry if I'm going to cry because I feel like I have really dropped the ball here and I'm very, very sorry. But if I could help you understand exactly how I feel, um, I saw a really great post the other day on Facebook. Um, and I will insert it here. It's a quote from Georgia O'Keefe, but I'll put the, I'll put the quote here and it, it's so true about not feeling like yourself. And I haven't uh, probably felt like myself since my hysterectomy um, in 2001, which is really sad to say, but that's when I started to really feel the arthritis setting in. And then in 2002, I started to have the nasal problems and, and everything just progressed and got worse. And, and here we are. I see... I see an end to this whole season now, but, uh, I have so much that I want to do here on this channel and I have another channel that I want to start, um, because I'm a glutton for punishment, but I'm excited about my future and I really, I really have things I really want to do. I really want to take this channel in a direction of uh, vintage cooking. And I think that's definitely something that I've talked about before. Um, that really is something that I've concentrated on in the past anyway. Um, I have some cookbook hauls that I want to do videos for because I have, I have a vintage cookbook haul that I've gotten off of Facebook Marketplace. I have a vintage cookbook haul that I got off of eBay and I have a vintage book haul that I have gotten off of uh, somewhere. There was, there was another, but they're really cool and they really are going in the direction that I want to go. Um, I'm, and I've been talking about starting a podcast and that is something I'm definitely going to do. That's going to be something that we're going to be doing on Saturdays. Um, something that I I want to start and it'll definitely morph into, um, like I want to eventually be live shows where we have call-ins and, uh, I want to be doing interviews, but it'll be like, I want to really focus on, um, on history of, of, um, our favorite brands and, um, the things that we use on a regular basis. So I was really, really inspired by a series on the History Channel that Rick and I um, spent some time enjoying this summer, which was um, called um, The Brands That Built America. And it was really fascinating. And we learned an awful lot about those things. But I feel like there's so much more out there that we can learn. Um, I know that there are so many brands that were born right here in North Carolina. Like, for instance, the town where I live, New Bern, North Carolina, is where Pepsi was actually invented. And they're actually getting ready to create uh, a very large Pepsi museum here. And that's something that he's wondered why we never had a Pepsi museum uh, here that was actually sponsored and run by the Pepsi Corporation. Because Coca-Cola has a giant Pepsi museum in Atlanta, Georgia, where Coca-Cola was created, but we have nothing. All we have here is, well, I shouldn't say nothing. We have the pharmacy where Caleb Bradham, which, who was the pharmacist that created Pepsi, the pharmacy where that was created is here in our downtown area. And historically, that is, you know, very important, but uh, it is a very small homage to Pepsi. It's it's really nothing, in my opinion, to what it should be. And hopefully the museum that they're planning to build is something that is more of what it deserves. But my podcast is something I want to concentrate on. Like, 
I want to concentrate on things like that. Um, I'm currently listening on um, Audible to a book called The Jell-O Girls, and it is the history of uh, the Jell-O company. Uh, it's very interesting, um, very fascinating, and um, very not happy, not happy at all. But um, I just, I have things that I want to do. I have recipes I want to do. I have so many Jell-O cookbooks. Um, I have like, um, I have a couple of books on Jell-O, on Spam. Um, I have a variety of uh, historical books. I have some cookbooks on um, like Duncan Hines. And if you're not familiar, Duncan Hines was actually a person. He was a restaurant critic in the 40s and 50s. And I'm excited to, uh, that's why the Duncan Hines cake mix, that's who it's named after. They had other food uh, things that were named for, they, for him. The, it was a brand that encompassed a lot of different things in the 50s. But um, so right now it really just focuses on the, uh, the bakery items in the grocery store. But um, I'm just kind of, I'm talking off the top of my head. So if I feel like I'm going all over the place, I do apologize for that. There were a lot of things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, mostly, um, my, I'm sorry about the channel. I'm sorry about no videos. I'm sorry about no motivation. I'm sorry about not tending to you. I'm sorry about all, all of that. I'm sorry about everything. I'm sorry about not not having enough gumption to uh, do uh, some videos for you guys. I really, I do feel bad about that because uh, this is something that I'm passionate about and I honestly have had zero motivation. Molly had a terrible accident in April. She fell uh, walking down the stairs at her home while she was working from home. Um, care laptop computer and she slipped and she fell and when she did that she shattered her left ankle and she had to have surgery and she had seven screws and a metal plate in her ankle that was in April she was um, she was out um, laid down out in bed for six weeks and then did physical therapy. She has found a new job now and was temporary at first, but now they've invited her to be a permanent employee. So that happened. And um, thank goodness, you know, nothing happened to Micah. <laughs> She's just loving her job. She um, moved into a new apartment with her significant other, and they're just uh, living the, the best life. And I just love, my kids are just happy. And that's all you want for your kids, right? You you just want them to be happy. But um, I'm excited for the future of the channel. And I would love to know if there are things that you would like to see. There's just a lot of things I'd like to do. I have all of these recipe card files that I'm excited to start going through with you and sharing them with you and taking photos of them and posting them on Facebook and on Instagram and let's make a couple of them or more than a couple of them together and let's do the freaky five uh, during our podcast every week and um, because there are some really interesting I'll call them interesting but they are freaky some of them are just plain freaky let's just uh, let's just know that so I just wanted to come on. I mean, I've been talking to you for almost a half an hour now, but, um, and I've been very all over the place. Um, and here I am. I'm just, I'm just out here being raw and I'm being real. And I have a stuffed up nose because I'm like trying not to cry. The holidays are coming. Don't worry. The holidays are coming. Um, and we're going to be doing that too. Um, if you have some, holiday recipes that you haven't seen me do that you'd like to see me do please leave suggestions down below in the comment section and I will add them to my list um, I can't guarantee that I'll get to them this year but look my list is always ongoing and um, depending on my um, um, my abilities this year then we'll see where we're at uh, we're talking easy peasy lemon squeezy for this year, okay? Uh, I know that 
I'm not the only one out there who uh, is going to need to take it easy, but still wants to get those Christmas gifties done, right? So that's where we're at right now. Like we're taking a trip to the dollar store, we're getting our containers, and we're filling them up with easy peasy stuff. That's where we're at. But make sure you leave your suggestions for me. The holidays are coming, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You know, I don't really do a lot for Halloween. I do a couple things sometimes, but as far as Halloween goes, I might actually be reco either recovering from or having my surgery at that time. So we'll see. They did last week that they were scheduling two months out for her surgeries. So that puts me in October. So we'll see what happens. It's been, it's just, it's been, it's been a, a few months and I apologize for that. Um, to any of my new subscribers, um, welcome. Um, this is me. I got a bunch of cats. I got a bunch of dogs. We are serious animal lovers. I'm getting ready. You know, I said to both my girls, they moved out over the last couple of years. Ma Micah moved out first a year and a half ago. Molly moved out a year ago. And so we have two empty rooms. And I'm in the process, which I can't do a lot. And I can't ask Rick to do a ton, but oh, and on top of all of the regular daily stuff he's already trying to do, plus all of the tasks that he would normally do, plus Rick has MS and he gets tired very quickly. So it's just a thing, okay? We're doing the best we can. We're moving along. We're doing what we can do, and that's all we can do, right? So a craft room has been my dream for years. Now I have two empty rooms and I can't put one together. I'm at a point where I would love to do it, but I used to be strong like bull. I used to joke, strong like bull. And now I can't, um, I can't stand long enough to even pick anything up. So it's, it's very frustrating. Um, so I'm really, really hoping that, uh, that I'll be able to get back to things. I'm very excited to have a sewing machine back and operating and all that good stuff because I have things I want to do with you guys. I, I want to do the laser cutting and I want to do more paper crafting and I want to do so much cooking and I want to do so many things. Tell me what you want to see me do, you guys. Tell me. Um, I Like I said, I... I have started, uh, I opened, opened a new channel up, but I'm not going to reveal that yet until I figure out exactly what direction I want to take it in. And I'm excited about that one too. That one's going to be a vintage thing, recipes, but it's probably going to be faceless and probably voiceless. I, I don't know yet. Well, I'm really not sure. It may only be shorts, but I'm not sure about that either. So... Um, not really sure. I'm very, very up in the air about it, you know? It's just, oh no, it's just, I mean, I'm not sure. So before that one decides to take off on her tangent, I'm just gonna, gonna sign off and I'm gonna say, I love you so much and thank you so much and uh, thank you for sticking with me and thank you for all your kind comments and thank you for all the prayers. I get so many messages telling me that you're praying for me and I feel those prayers. I really do. And there's your update. Um, look for, um, look for more videos in the coming days. And I promise I have not abandoned you. And until next time, God bless and take care and I'll see ya.